Ooh, it's getting to that point in the year now where uh, hats come on. Scarves come on. Ooh, chilly, chilly. And it might start to snow. If you're a streamer, you may want to consider adding the power of God to your stream by allowing you to add snow onto full screen or maybe just onto your webcam like this. In this video, I'm gonna show you a very quick way for you to be able to add snow over your webcam or over your full scene on Streamlabs OBS. You can do this in around about five to 10 minutes. I'll also show you how you can add a convenient button on your Elgato Stream Deck to turn this on or off. I might even do some bonus content where I show you how you can have a snowball thrown at the screen like this. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I've actually added this as a channel points reward on my Twitch stream. And so far, my viewers seem to really like it. You can also tie this into some Christmas music as well, just to create that feeling of Christmas. My name is Machine Dana. If you enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate a subscription from you if you want to. And of course, if you've got any questions about streaming, feel free to hop into my Twitch. I stream most days at 6 o'clock UK time at twitch.tv forward slash Machine Dana. Let's get into it. Okay, first of all, there are a few different ways you can achieve the snow effect. For instance, you can set up some actual fake snow as a media scene and use that with a green screen and use that green screen overlay so that it only captures the snow and not the transparency, the, the green behind it, and use a chroma key. I'm not going to be going through that because I don't really use a green screen on my streams and I'm not the best qualified person to go through that. However, that is something that you can do. I just wanted to point that out. That's an option. There are some stock images that you can use that suffice and do just as good a job in my opinion and particularly if you want it in a quick win here something that gets some snow up on your stream straight away for of course the winter time of the year and of course the christmas time of the year Okay, so one of the first things you're going to want to do here is at least locate some sort of file. Now, you may already have a file that you can use, and I have already done a separate video, which I will link in the description below, about how you can create and add transparent GIF files, or is it GIF or GIF? I always... I'm just gonna call it GIF. I call it GIF. If you call it GIF, I think you're weird. I'm just gonna say that right now. If, if you do, stop doing that. Um, please. Thanks. Check the link in the description for how to add transparent GIFs. I will only briefly cover this in the video. There's a more detailed version of this if you want to do that. If you don't already have a file that you can use that has transparency enabled, and that's really the key to this, you need the transparency within the file, then you can just locate one online, and there's a few different ways that you can do that. So I'm just going to type in here, transparent snow. We need to locate a file that can be used as a source within Streamlabs OBS, which we can then toggle on and off. Click on images here. I'm just going to go into tools, size. I want large ideally and I'm also going to look at type and go for gif here now these should be all animated snow now some of them clearly do not have transparency in them others do this one for instance you could probably use a chroma key on it but I'm not liking the style of that one in particular one frame per second this one's kind of a bit more realistic than the one that I've got I'm not sure if that is transparent so I'm just gonna file right click save image as image one gif let's just try a few more this one here clearly does have alpha on it it's not black so and don't worry if it is black because there are some things that we can do with some color effects that remove the black as well so don't worry too much about that gif two so we've got a few different files that we can play around with and test with here and that's the objective because we're going to use the one that we like the best I actually really like this one here and it's quite a large file size so i'm going to just try that one as the fourth and i think i'll start with that one actually just gives you a variety of different files that you can try with and if you don't like one you can just dump it but if you do this work up front it can take just a minute or two to find those files save those files and then you can just try the different ones in streamlabs obs you can search websites like tenor give I, I, I don't know which way around gif yeah giffy or whatever and do the exact same thing and do a search from here for instance transparent snow uh, and there's lots of transparent snow and stuff here as well with these you just have to click in them right click and then save the image as and again you need to be making sure that the file type is a gif file sometimes they can look like they are transparent when they're actually not so that's the reason why we're going to get an array of them rather than trying to add it realizing it's not transparent and then going back and searching for files again 
So now what we need to do is open up Streamlabs OBS and we're going to be adding the sources to our scenes that we would like them to be in. Then we can do some other nice stuff as well that just makes it a little bit easy to manage this while you're actually live on stream. If you're anything like me, what you may do is have a, a base scene set up and then you apply that scene as a source within other scenes, in which case you only have to add the snow to the base scene and then it will apply wherever else you've added that scene as a source. So for me, I've got a scene which just captures the base assets of my desktop and some other stuff that I want to capture on the desktop, like the alert box and things like that. I would then add it over the either over the full overlay for that or on the webcam scene. So for me, I've got a base webcam asset, which is the full uncropped scene, which I'll just show you. And it looks like this. This is my uncropped filtered scene for my webcam. And I apply this to other different scenes as a source. And that then means that I'm able to make changes to the webcam. So what I could do here is add some snow on the webcam as I've done. And that then means wherever my webcam exists, the snow will exist. Or if you want, you can just add it onto any one of your scenes individually. It just means it can get a little bit more complicated to manage, uh, but it very much depends on how you've got set up your own Streamlabs OBS. So as you can see here, I've got a live scene base assets folder and I also have a cam and labels folder. These are actually scenes that I've added by clicking on the plus icon and adding a scene and selecting the webcam folder scene with the webcam overlays and things like that. So once you've decided exactly where you're putting the snow and how it works best for you, all you need to do is click on the add new source. We want to be adding it as an image. As you can see here, GIF images are one of the supported sources that you can add. So here you've got the option to select an existing source um, or you can add a new source. So I'm going to add this as, I'm going to rename it first snow GIF at the source. Now we just need to browse to the desktop where we've located those files. I think it was the fifth one that I actually quite like the look of. So I'm going to start with that one first. We now have this as an effect. And because we know that this is a transparent GIF, because we've selected a transparent GIF, it's showing the content behind it because there's an alpha that's contained within the file itself. Just for illustrative purposes, I'm going to try adding another scene here as an image, a new one, and I'm going to call it Snow 2, Snow GIF 2, browse, and I'm going to go for like, let's say this one here, one. We can see this particular one, we've got two sources, one there which is transparent, and one here that is not transparent. The thing is, this is actually quite a nice full screen, really detailed piece of snow. All you can simply do here, if you don't get the transparency but it's black in the background, one option here is that you can right click on the source, we can go to filters here, and we can apply color correction to this filter. And now here, we can play around with the settings to remove the black. An option here is to add an opacity to this. If we put that down to 30, the whites come through, but the difference here, and you can see this on my camera, it does make your overall scene a little bit darker. So you can play around with the color correction settings until you're kind of happy with what they look like. Now what you can also do is right click and transform and fit to screen if you want to leave it over the full screen. Or of course, if this was one of your webcam scenes, it would apply it to the full webcam scene as well. I'm actually, I'm not a big fan of that particular snow. So I'm going to work with this particular one here. One kind of problem here is that not a very good aspect ratio. So we're going to deal with that. I can make that full screen if I want, but the problem is we've got two thirds of the screen as well. So I can simply duplicate this if I wanted, or I could hold shift and drag this across. Now that is an option. Now the problem here is it's now stretched. That literally stretches the asset, but it, it might work for you. It may not work for you. For me, I'm not happy with the pixelation on those. Control Z will undo what I've just done there. Another thing we can do here is to hold out and just crop this so that it's about the same aspect ratio, which in my case is a 16 by nine, and then resize that. Again, it's kind of works, but it's too, a little bit too big for my liking, so I'm still not happy with that. I'm gonna control Z. So it just gives you a few different options for how you can manage the asset within Streamlabs OBS. What I would prefer to do here is actually duplicate this by con clicking control C, or you can right click and click copy. And I'm gonna control V here, which will paste it and then control V again and paste it again. I now have three versions of these. All three of them are showing as indicated by the eyeball here. And the black one that I had there, I've got not showing now. Now I'm just gonna select these one by one and put them over different parts of my screen. There's actually a lot more snow here than it looks like because it's duplicating the screen because of the recording. Ignore that. All of a sudden I'm a little bit more happy with how this looks on my stream. And just to show what this would look like on the webcam only screen, I'm just gonna copy all of those three assets that I've applied and go into my full 
screen, cam. If I now paste those assets, that's what it looks like over the webcam. I'm fairly happy with that, how that looks. So we've now actually added the snow and okay, you could just have it all the time, but maybe you might want to be like super godlike and be able to turn the snow on and off. Or maybe you want to add this as a channel points reward so that your viewers can turn the snow on and off. Or if you want to go really far with this, you could even integrate a touch portal or Lioran board where they can redeem it as bits or subs or channel points and actually it just happens but i'm not going to get into any detail about touch portal and that sort of stuff in this particular video i will give you some options though on how you can manage this on a stream deck and also if you don't have a stream deck how you can just manage it with hotkeys so first of all let's talk about hotkeys go into the settings tab here we're going to hotkeys here we've now got to locate those sources within the desired screen now i'm in my number three in-game right hand cam scene so i'm going to locate this here and I can now see there is snow gif here. We've now got a hotkey option to show the snow gif or to hide the snow gif. Now I can then just create a hotkey here, for instance, control shift S N. So that gives snow and that gives no snow. And we can do the same for the other assets as well. Show it and not show it. Now what we've actually done here is we've applied the same hotkey for all three assets. So when we use that one hotkey, it will apply to multiple assets and all of the snow will disappear or reappear. And I'll just show what that looks like now that we've added it. Click done on that. Control shift S will show the snow. Control shift N will remove the snow. I'm now going to show you a couple of different ways that you can configure this on your Stream Deck. First of all, you can install the Streamlabs OBS integration. And once you've connected that, you can drag a source on here. If you've only got one file that's being used for the snow, for instance, the dark one that I showed you that was full screen, you simply need to be able to toggle a source on or off. So you can use the source from Streamlabs OBS. You just have to select the particular scene that you're in. And I'm going to select, let's say, the snow file. And toggling this will turn on the snow. And I'll just show that. We can see that that's turned on the snow on the left hand side however for me i actually had three pieces of snow so another way of doing this if you've got multiple files or if you also want to trigger some audio say for instance jingle bells or something like that we want to be using the stream deck function here as a multi-action switch and now we've got the option to select multi-actions on one switch and a multiple of actions on a second switch so on the first switch we want sources a source and a source and we simply have to select three files here that we've used i'm going to go for the third and the top snow here i'm going for the third again and the second snow down and here third scene and the third snow down this will toggle them on i'm just going to name this snow on and i actually want the text to be green here as well it indicates that the snow is on i'm going to click two and i want the same sources but this time I'm going to have them deactivated. So here I'm going to click deactivate and select the same sources, the top source. Here deactivate, top source, second source down and the third source deactivate, third source down. I'm just going to rename this snow off. And I'm going to make the text red, which will just make it a little bit more visually clear what's going on. We can actually now press the button on the stream deck and see what happens. All three snows have, have appeared. I'm pressing it again. All three snows have disappeared. So for the snowball, I've done the exact same thing. The difference is I've searched for a snowball transparent file, which throws it at the screen and done the exact same process. I've resized it the same size as the screen. So for the snowball, I've simply selected a source here in Streamlabs OBS and selected the snowball GIF to turn on or to turn off. But you just need to remember to have it either set to loop only once and not multi-loop or to just press the button off. So there you have it, a simple way for you to add some snow onto your stream this Christmas, but don't forget to put on your woolies, okay? We don't want you getting a chill. Nobody wants a nipple on at this time of the year. <laughs> See you later, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana.